Hey everyone, uh, this is David. Uh, I'm the software guy at Brobo. Um, I wanted to give you guys a uh, quick intro about the software we use that we've developed to uh, control the robots. Uh, this is my LinkBot, and so and uh, this is Brobo Link. Um, so I'm going to connect to it real fast. So this is LinkBot uh, CFC3. So I'm going to type that in here and connect to it. Okay, so now it's connected, you see the light turn green, and immediately I can hit the beep button, and it beeps. So that's cool. Um, so uh, this program lets me uh, control the motors and, and uh, view some data, so let's just start at the beginning. Um, so this is the motion control tab, and this tab, uh, you can see here in this, in this uh, box right here, shows the joint angle, so if I move the joints, those sliders will move and tell me what angle those joints are currently at. Uh, what I can also do is, is move the slider, and the, the joint will follow uh, the position of the slider. Um, what I can also do is uh, set the joint to move at a constant velocity, uh, which is this up arrow here, and the velocity is specified in this section right here, so I can make it move faster. And this is in uh, degrees per second, so that's 120 degrees per second, and uh, this is 10 degrees per second. And you get the idea, and we can make it go back to its zero position. Oh, make it go back a little faster, I guess. There. Okay. Cool. Um, this is the uh, sensors tab. So on the right-hand side here, uh, you'll see it's it's displaying the current accelerometer data. So as I as I rotate the robot around, the the sliders move around. Um, and if I shake the robot, you can see the the magnitude bar here really fluctuates a lot. But if I'm really gentle and I move the the robot around, the, these sliders move around because those are the ind independent X Y Z accelerometer readings, but the magnitude stays about the same. And uh, we also have this multicolor LED which you can control uh, with this guy right here. And it changes in real time so it makes a really cool like lava lamp effect. Uh, we also have this programming interface where you can run simple Python programs. Uh, and we have this uh, post-teaching dialog. And so I'm going to show you this first. Um, so basically in this dialog, um, I'm going to go ahead and show the the uh, the dynamic code uh, screen here. So uh, this button A is labeled with the record button, and this button B is labeled with the play pause. So we can use this to record poses. Um, so basically, what that means is um, it's like stop go animation for robots. So let's record this pose, and I can move the joints on the robot, and I'll record another pose. And you'll see on the screen here, it's it's automatically generating code. Um, and uh, we can even change what kind of code we want to generate. So this is what the C++ code looks like. But I like Python, so let's, let's do Python. And let's do a couple more poses here. So let's do that and that. Okay, so now we have four poses. Um, and what we can do in this dialog already is we, we can hit play, and it'll, it'll go through those, those poses one at a time. And you'll see here which pose it's, it's going towards. Um, we can also play loot. And you'll see it automatically adds a little loop in right here, in the code. And in this in this case, it'll just go through over and over and over again, and it, it'll never stop. So I'm going to hit the stop button here. And I don't really want to loop. I don't want the that loop in the code, so I'm just going to uh, get rid of it. Um, yeah. Okay, so n now I have this Python code, and what can I do with this? Well, uh, let's copy this code to the clipboard, and let's go to... Um, our editor here. So this is this is Ninja IDE. It's a it's a really cool open source um, uh, Python IDE. Um, it could probably use for other stuff than Python, but I think most people use it for Python. So, anyways, let's let's start a new uh, a new document here. I'm just going to paste that code. Um, and now from here we can just hit the run button. And uh, oh, I gotta save it first. Uh, Blot up works. Okay. Okay, so now it's running, and you'll see it's it's the same kind of thing. Okay, that's really straightforward. Um, but I also want to show you guys um, we can also uh, actually start here. We can also um, we have a few cool functions. One of them I want to show you real fast. So record angles begin. So this tells the robot to begin recording its angles, um, recording data. And 
what I'm going to do is start recording the data. It's going to move the joints. And then over here, I'm going to stop recording the data. And I'm going to plot that recorded data. So it's just a demonstration of, of how kind of easy and uh, easy to read our API is. So let's try saving this. And let's run it, see what happens. So you can see joints are moving. And this plot appears. And you'll see, um, uh, I forget which, which color is which, but this is, this is the um, motor angles uh, of the robot uh, per time. And this time is in seconds. And this time is uh, from the time the mobile was powered on. There's, there's another option you can plot it from zero. Where, where this point is zero, but, but uh, by default, this function just, it's, it's from whenever the robot was powered on. So this is just a quick demo of, of our, our graphical user interface, Barobo Link, and uh, the Python uh, scripting environment. And this is, this is only a very, very small subset of the API, which is open source. Um, we'll post a link to GitHub. You can take a look at the whole API uh, as you want. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you later.